Jimmy Kimmel took brutal swipe at Meghan and Harry by calling them for giving up titles on Oscars stage. Jimmy Kimmel returned to host the 96th Academy Awards on Sunday, March the 10th at the Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles, the funny man's fourth stint as the ceremony's MC. Oppenheimer was the night's big winner at the Oscars, taking home the gold for Best Picture, Best Director, Christopher Nolan, Best Actor, Cillian Murphy, Best Supporting Actor, Robert Downey Jr., and more. Emma Stone looked absolutely stunned to win Best Actress for Poor Things, and as the now two-time Oscar winner suffered a wardrobe malfunction on her way to the stage, she joked that it happened during I'm Just Ken, Ryan Gosling's sparkly pink perfect performance of the Barbie song that came complete with karaoke. On the Oscars stage this year, the host Jimmy Kimmel continues to have a lot to say about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. He recalled their explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey back in 2021, the couple shared shocking details about the royal family and made several claims about how Meghan was treated while living in the UK. In the aftermath, many famous people spoke up with some defending the royal family. Despite not being particularly interested, Jimmy was among the 17 million Americans who watched the Oprah special. According to Jimmy's Oscars opening monologue given at the ceremony on 11th of March, he also mentioned a majority of Americans have said Prince Harry shouldn't receive special treatment in the US. The Duke of Sussex said in February that he's considered becoming a naturalised US citizen, telling journalists that he had no idea what was stopping him as he attended the Invictus Games. He said at the time, It's a thought that's crossed my mind, but it's not a high priority for me right now. His would-be countrymen have said that they would prefer that, if he did ever pursue citizenship, he should do so titleless. Hundreds of Americans have said the country shouldn't change its laws to honour a foreign prince. US laws require anyone seeking American citizenship to renounce any allegiance to a foreign prince. Prince Harry would be able to retain his titles only if the country changed its laws allowing him to do so. But the majority of thousands of Americans are against such a move, a recent poll commissioned by Newsweek has found. The publication commissioned pollsters Redfield and Wilton to ask 1,500 US adults whether the law should be changed to accommodate him. The organisation found that 44% or 528 people were against the idea while nearly half felt the opposite. Only 23% of the sample, 276 people, said that they'd support legislative changes that would allow him to keep his titles. And the remaining 32% or 384 people said that they were uncertain as to whether the law should change. Lawyers believe that there's one avenue for the prince to keep his titles and still become a US citizen. Never going to happen, as without it, the doors will be closed to the couple. Without the titles, they're nothing, just plain Mr. and Mrs. Henry Windsor. During an incident with The Hollywood Reporter, the late night host was asked about how much he worries about insulting people during his gig. I have such a fear of standing in front of a quiet audience, but as far as people being mad, I don't necessarily operate that way, the 56-year-old responded. I'm not interested in hurting anyone's feelings, but sometimes some people are more sensitive than others and you just have to accept that.